Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the previous video, we arrived here in India in our attempt to get the clockwork wings from Rajan. In today's video, we're going to continue progressing that mission by starting off with a Murray mission, and then progressing into a Sly mission or two. We need to get up to where the uh, turret for the helicopter mission is, I believe. Let's see, what is the official? Oh, shoot. We're in combat now. Hold on, let's let's go ahead and engage in some fisticuffs as Murray. Murray the brave and the bold. There we go. Uh, looks like there's some enemies coming. What's the mission called? Battle the Chopper is what it's called. It's called Battle the Chopper. That is just what I plan to do as Murray. Assuming I can get up there with ease. Okay, well the with ease part has all but gone to the wayside, but hoping I can get up there at all. This is one thing Murray is good at, I'll tell you. If there's one thing Murray can do, it's brawl. We can also hit the hit the thunder flop on these clowns. Well, I could if I didn't miss. Okay, let's 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 progress. How do we get up to there? Aha, through this area. There we go. And now we can start the mission. It's a menace. Operations while on this job. Yeah, it's all covered in missiles and guns and stuff. Now be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Okay, I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. I will say I like Murray's Sly 3 voice better than his Sly 2 voice. He's a bit of a, like a dopey character in this one. And in Sly 3, he's a little more mature. Speaks a little less dirty dirty. That makes any sense. All right, here we go. I used to be really bad at this because you need to mash buttons to get this activated. I always have to pass the controller to my dad because I can never mash fast enough. But I'm a mashing pro now. Well, not really a pro, but I'm all right. I was also pretty bad at this balancing out the uh, the meter for uh, the overheating. That's what Bentley is trying to explain right now. Is that you can overheat the weapon if you uh, if you let the little bar go too high. Okay, we got missiles coming in. There we go. Okay, okay we got missiles coming in from all fronts. There we go. Oh, see, I let it overheat again. I could tap fire this. This is a, a turret stage. Murray doesn't technically have a fun mission in this level, I don't think. I'm pretty sure... If memory serves correct, this is the only Murray mission you have in this level. And it is, uh, it's not not fun. I think it could be a little more fun, judging by how you're not really playing as Murray. I think you have a very similar Murray mission in the next uh, episode as well. Episode of the game, not episode of the series. I love that they are the same word. Alright, I can probably just focus on the helicopter at this point, truthfully, but no, let's take out the missiles. It's honestly really easy, because the missiles will always come directly in front of you. They won't, like, swerve around you at all. Uh, so if you just prioritize... Ugh, you just hold down the fire, you can pretty much take them out as they get really close. But otherwise, a yeah, pretty standard affair here. I'm just gonna take out the helicopter at this point. Eep. Okay, I'll shoot that last missile, and then now we'll just take down the helicopter. Yep, that's the Murray mission. And now, I like I said, I don't recall there being a second Murray mission in the whole stage. I'm pretty sure that's it for Murray. Unless you start the operation as Murray, but you won't be using Murray in the operation very much. I didn't make it. I didn't jump far enough. Rats. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch to Sly for the Sly mission. It is going to be a rather fun one. It involves us hanging out at the guest house area of, of the game, which we've explored briefly in the previous video. Uh, we're also going to be picking up some bottles. We only have six bottles left. We know where some, but not all of them are. So we'll have to be uh, on the lookout with our ears to see if we hear any bottles. Like this bottle that's right here. I think if I had to make a guess as to where the bottles were... Actually, let's take a quick detour, because I do know where a few more are. There's some hidden in, like, the back section over here. There's sort of a back pathway to get around back of the ballroom 
and uh, yeah, there's stuff over here. You can hear a lot of bottles, actually. See, there's one over there to the left, there's one up there. Bottles, and bottles, and bottles. Alright, there's another one. We'll go ahead and collect this one as well. Like I said, this leads around to the front of the, um, the front of the ballroom. So it's, takes us right around to here. Eight bottles left. There might be one in this tunnel, perhaps, or perhaps not. Looks like the answer might be not. We'll find the last two bottles. I'm not really concerned about them at all. Bottles are a fun little uh, extra we can collect, and of course we're going to collect them at our earliest convenience. All right, let's go ahead and start this mission. This one's called Ballroom Dance Party. Yes. Gazooks! Here we are. Knocking on the door, trying to get into the ballroom. I'm here for the dance. Huh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Rats, we got dress coded. Not wearing enough stylish clothes. Sorry. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. Yes, that's right. We are going to rob a special suit from the ritzy guests in the ritzy guest house. Because that's just the kind of guy Sly Cooper is. He's a thief. We will be stealing from the ritzy guests in the ritzy guest house. Oh, there's a bottle down here. Wait. Chill out. I need to get the bottle. Um, wait, I was gonna say, I don't think the bottle's down here. I hear it, but I do not see it. Um, that is interesting because there's two bottles left, right? Okay, it's, it's around here somewhere. You can hear it. Okay, if you were a bottle, where would you be hiding? Probably up on top of there. I see it. Okay. Uh, we can grab that now because I think this mission kicks you out when you finish it. Oh, shoot. We can get all the bottles right now. Heck yeah. Let's freaking go. Bottle finding experts. All right. We don't know where the safe is for this mission yet or for this uh, episode, but we do know that it has got to be around here somewhere. And when we come across it, we'll be ready to open the code if we slash this bottle. 30 out of 30. And let's head on in to the guest house. So previously we had run around the guest house, now we're in it. Hey, I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Oh well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. So we have a bit of a strategic uh, hack and slash, so to say. What we will be doing is... Oh, I'll let Razan talk. Yeah, so basically, Rajan was just saying all the party goers, people will eventually stop cutting me off. Eventually, they'll stop cutting me off. All that Rajan said was that all the party guests should be out of the house. So if there's anyone in the house, attack them. That's why the guards are, are aggressive. Now, what I was saying is what we need to do, well, in some cases, is take out the guards. But after we do that, we will essentially be smashing everything in existence because each of these rooms holds one or more i believe it's only one though. i don't think there's any room that has more than one piece of a tuxedo somewhere so we find it by smashing things it's not random by any means if you know where the items are then you can just go right to where they are uh, but i will just be causing massive mischief like breaking televisions and whatnot because it's kind of fun. Also, you can get a lot of coins. 
Aha, uh -huh, what am I missing? These? There's a laundry hamper right here. That's taking a bit of couple couple of swings. Okay, what 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 have I not broken yet? Interesting. Yeah, I usually work from one uh, side to the. Actually, no. Generally, I go straight through the middle, and then I end up splitting the the hotel. But I wanted to go a little more strategically, go uh, room by room. This has proven not as successful as I wanted it to be. There we are, the tuxedo jacket. Great. And now we can proceed back out this door to the next room. It's always the last thing I end up checking. The rooms are generally the same layout. There's one room I know of that's a Rajan's suite, and so it is, uh, it's very different looking. It's got a whole different layout, a lot of special uh, things in there. I think that's on the other end of the hall, so we shouldn't be finding that particularly soon. Okay, this is a room filled with a whole ton of guards, and they all have got loot. I want the loot. Give me the loot. Fortnite style. Okay, I got one loot. That's enough loot, I guess. Yeah, you gotta just... You don't have to defeat the enemies if you're quick. You can kind of just smash what you need to smash and get out without ever... See? We got our shirt! Exclamation mark. A very low-poly shirt, and now we can just leave. But I think I will defeat the enemies anyway. And also, for good measure, I should probably smack everything else. I think we need... Shirt, tuxedo jacket, we need pants, shoes for dancing, and I think there's- oh, bow tie. Bow tie's the last thing. So I'm pretty sure each room only has one thing, if memory serves correct, but, you know, we'll, we'll break everything just in case. Worst comes to worst, we just get lots of coins. And you know what, this is good enough. I'll take my chances with everything being one, uh, only being one thing per room. All right, we can enter this one now. I believe this is Rajan's. Thank you. He does, but they also have loot. Like I like to say, give me the loot. And then I can sneak away. I believe Rajan's item is very front and center. By the way, there's also snakes, so you gotta watch out for snakes. The snakes can be, uh, they can hang out in the, uh, in the little pots. They hang out in the pots in the streets as well. We just haven't run across one of those. Another gold ring. Lots of valuables here from good old Rajan's room. He's got loot in here as well. It's right there. We got some dancing shoes. Now we could, of course, make a funny comment about how, thankfully, everyone is is the exact same size shirt, shoes, pants, etc. as Sly Cooper. But, uh, you know, it is just a game. I am not doing so hot, so I'm gonna use the fire there to assist me in that battle. Use the fire to deal lethal damage. Enemies on fire are one-shots. Which is why if you buy Murray's uh, Fist of Flame ability, you can one-shot pretty much everything. Take this guy out as well. There we go. Now there's no more guards in the hallway, so we can run as, as freely as we want. Uh, ooh, okay. The big deal here, of course, flashlight guard. Take him out, and the rest of the enemies are fairly easy to deal with on our own. We don't even need to. We got gloves. I guess you don't need pants. I guess we just need bow tie. It's tuxedo, jacket, shirt, shoes gloves, bow tie. I know for a fact we need a bow tie. That'll be the last item I think that we find in here. Again, we have a flashlight guard. What? It is a bow tie. Great. That's, it. Now that you've got a complete tuxedo, That's funny. I failed that. I absolutely failed that. That's very funny. Okay, we have to be very careful. He seems to have forgotten about us. Which is perfect. Alright, we need to go back to the ballroom now, through this door and away. It'll be a bit of a jog back across the bridge, but we at least don't need to worry about finding bottles, as we took care of all of those. I believe there is one more uh, leg to this mission, and it's a rather fun leg. I have a fun little story to tell as we do it, if it is what I am thinking of. If it's not, then I'll save the anecdote story anecdote story that's the same thing i'll save the story for another day but I, I believe we will actually get a fun little mini game 
when we go through here. Which, by the way, I think we can take this straight up as, like, a shortcut to get in. I think. Yeah, here's the continuing... The continuation rope is right here. And we are all of a sudden back at the door. Oh, it's a separate mission called Dominate the Dance Floor. Well, let's do it anyway. Let's do it anyway. Of course I do. I'm here to dance. His eyeball is weird. Dominate the Dance Floor is a very fun rhythm game that I will talk about as we do it. Alright, I know just the girl for the job. Gotta do a little bait and switch. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? I don't know why he reveals himself like this. Turn yourself in, old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. Alright, so this is a fun little rhythm mini game where you basically just have to do Simon Says. It'll show you four buttons at the bottom. Okay, three buttons sometimes. And then you just have to repeat them. Triangle, triangle, triangle. So it's, it's a pretty standard little uh, button memory game. I was so bad at this game when I played this the very first time. I had to have my older sister do this for me. And she is not a gamer. But she is a rhythm gamer. She used to play a lot of Guitar Hero. And so she used to have the timing and stuff down pretty darn well. And I just handed the controller off to her. Do you mind? Not at all. I am of course now a professional. A professional gamer here on youtube.com forward slash apple guy. Make sure to hit subscribe. So I am nice. I am perfect to do this button mashing. It's not really mashing, the button minigame. I'm good at it. There we go. And it's not difficult. But it was at the time. Triangle, triangle, square. The timing is a little difficult, and my microphone does block the middle one. So I do have to kind of swing my head around to see, like, that's supposed to be a triangle. If I don't move, it's just, it's bad. But I think that's it. Oh, no, we have another leg, I think. That's a little funny. Here we go. Now we're into four. Now we're hitting it off. Bump, bump. Oh, triangle, circle, I think? I don't know how many lives you have. Okay, triangle, circle, X, triangle. This is so hard to do commentary for. Doom, ba, boom. Okay, whew. Delicious. Okay, I like the ones where you can just spam it. Like the triangle, triangle, triangle one. But this one is not half bad either. Okay, so triangle and then and then half rock. Boom, ba, be, boo. There we go. Yes. Circle, 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 X. Oh, triple spin! Triple spin and finish! Okay. Not quite finished with the dance. This is just a counterclockwise motion. There we are. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes. Good one. Three is always a crowd, Neela. Your friend here is quite Good a one. dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Neela. His skills far surpass you. <laughs> what a diss. I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. Nice. All set up for the heist. Well, there's still a lot more missions to do. I think Bentley has a slideshow, so... Here we go, a PowerPoint. All right, boys. We're ready for the next phase. My plan to get at the clockwork wings requires the use of the electric winch above the ballroom. To get control over the device, I'll need to hack the computers in Rajad's boardroom. Plus, we'll need an extra strong saw blade to cut the wings off the statue. To make a saw blade that durable, I'll need Sly to steal the gems off the headdresses on Rajad's prize elephants. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's surface-to-air defenses. That should clear things up for the heist. 
And yeah, just like that, we are set up to continue our progress here in India. Let me take a quick peek. I'm pretty sure it's a, a two Sly missions and a Bentley mission. Yep, two Sly and a Bentley, just as I thought. Very, very cool. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. And tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. That means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I will catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.